Hi, I'm Mike from Hackaday. I'm here with Scott, and he has built the Tin Spider, which uh, we got a great uh, demonstration of. There are people lined up on every side of it. It's pretty amazing. What did, uh, made you decide to start this build? Well, I, I was from the Star Wars generation, so uh, Star Wars influenced a lot of my thinking when I was a kid. And then um, I do sheet metal as a living, and I kind of wanted a uh, way of showing off what I do for, in my day of work. And then also, uh, I was going to Burning Man for the first time, so I wanted to have something that was really impressive. And I uh, kind of combined that with another love of mine, which was Buckminster Fuller's domes. You know, so I, I put the domes together, and then I wanted to have legs to make a vehicle out of, and I found uh, Taylor Jensen's fantastic mechanism that he uses for his domes, or I mean his, his beach yeah, strand beast. Yeah, the strand beast, yeah. And I uh, thought I'd, they'd be perfect combined. So this is a version of them being combined together. Now I heard you saying before, you, um, you think this is a really efficient design, like the energy usage is pretty low with the demonstrations of it. Right, doing. because it's not lifting the metal, it's actually dragging the whole thing. Because sure. the way uh, Teo uh, describes it is that they're like a caster. You got these three legs, so there's always one foot on the ground at all time. So you're pulling it rather than lifting the weight. And um, right now this whole thing's running on two horsepower. Oh wow, that's, so. a, that's amazing. Uh, what kind of team did you have help you on the build? Uh, well, only really one guy, it's, uh, Steve Hawthorne, who's just an ace mechanic. He's, he did almost most of the metal work on this thing. Um, the leg, some of the welding, I had some of the other guys that helped me out do a little bit of the welding. But sure. All right, so now we're looking at Scott's robot house. Is that it's what it's robotic called? robotic house. Now, this is kind of an art piece. It's like a post-apocalyptic house, you know, as small of a space as you could fit two people. Okay. And it's relatively comfortable. And first... It, because it is an art piece, I do know that's a backward portal. You know, it looks really cool this way. It's supposed to be on the inside. But if you look into it, you might need your camera to look into it. But but these all these panels lay down to make the, the seats so two people can sit in there. Okay. Underneath the floor is a shower pan so that you can take a shower in there. And behind this panel is a uh, little kitchenette. Okay. And so in the daytime, you use this space as, as a normal space that you would. Sure. And then when you sleep, you lay it up to this position, and I'll show you what happens okay. with my assistant here. <laughs> That's my daughter, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi. So you would stand in there and lay back up against this panel. <laughs> and at, at nighttime, you would turn the switch and the whole house rotates on its side so now your wall is the bed oh my gosh that's great this is definitely right out of buckminster fuller yes it yeah. is so now she's in the sleeping mode now if this was on uneven ground you can adjust it a little bit to get it so you <laughs> be sure you're on level when you're sleeping and uh in the morning oops you just go down this and you you don't have to get out of bed you just sure. you're sleeping and the next minute you're standing in Oh, that's fantastic. Did you, uh, are these like FlowJet cut gears or how did you make the, the gears? These are cut on a uh, plasma cutter. And okay. Let me grab her out real quick. Oh, she's still in there. <laughs> so they're cut on a plasma cutter and um, I don't have a really good plasma cutter. So uh, we had to use double plates. And what I did is had these, had these plates spaced out. So it gives a little more space, a little more distance between it, it straightens it up, and then with these roller pinions, you know, there's not really friction on it, because these are grade 8 bolts with uh, bushings in there that help roll as it goes through this chain. And basically, it's a giant, like a giant uh, bicycle sprocket without a chain. You know, the chain would be down here on this wheel, and it gives it a huge amount of torque, so it can turn this whole pot. Well, the chain it wouldn't work, it would, it would stretch the chain too much. So your fabrication skills on putting this together and making it work are pretty amazing. If people want to work on theirs and learn a little bit more, what is your advice for them? Um, learn how to draw. Drawing is the, getting things from your brain to paper is the first step of everything. So you really want to learn how to do that. And then after you learn how to draw, um, whatever you want to do with it from there is, is either a CNC or uh, just going straight to drawing it on the metal and cutting it out. You know, But drawing it out is the first point. Well, these are two amazing creations. Again, thank you so much for showing us them. Thanks. Nice to meet you.